Hello and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm running late, um, so I really should not be filming this intro, but here I am. I'm just about to head off on my long run. It's not actually that long today, which is nice. And then it's nice and early for a Saturday because I am shooting for some Under Armour content later um, for, some, for a new trainer, which is basically what this video is about. Um, annoyingly, I can't do my long run in them because I can't get them dirty before the shoot. So I'm gonna show you. I will give you a lot more context and a lot more info on the shoe later once I've run on it. But just like here is a peek. They are absolutely beautiful. I think I'll keep the white lace in them. Anyway, these are the Flow and they don't have like a big rubber outsole like normal trainers and they're meant to be super speedy and light. So I will let you know how they actually are once I've run in them. Uh, but for today's run, I'm actually gonna run in the Machinas, um, which basically this is just a new color variation, but I've been running in the Machinas now for over a year. And they are one of my two go-to trainers for slightly longer endurance runs, which I guess are my, what I would like to say is my weekend runs, anything kind of like two hours plus, maybe an hour and a half plus. Um, so the Machinas, they also connect to Map My Run, which is the kind of like, well, it's really clever to be honest. It's like a coaching device and also, I guess, like tracks how far and stuff which you can use it for, but the reason why it's different to like using your Garmin or Strava is because it gives you like actual real time coaching and also tells you all the like geeky info, like your foot strike, um, which I am less bothered about like my cadence and stuff right now. I'm getting more and more data driven since I got my, my ring, so who knows. Um, but I found the foot strike really interesting to kind of like identify how your foot strike and form changes when you're more tired and then that, how that can like potentially affect getting an injury, you know, when you kind of feel like a niggle during the run. Um, but anyway, the Machinas, this video is not about the Machinas, but for anyone who wants like a comfy, long distance shoe, which I guess more of my audience is driven to that, you guys, um, the Machinas or the Infinites are, are that for me, the longer shoe. Um, this is what they look like. This colorway is going to be my favorite. This whole outfit in general, I'm just going to show you. If you can see, Ex excuse the mess. Um, excuse the mess behind because I'm getting ready for the shoot. But long socks, nice, long, non chafy shorts. That are really nice material and they've got a pocket. Um, yeah, ready, ready to run. Very happy with this, this ensemble. And I'm all about the long socks. So I was happy to get some long Under Armour ones in this recent kit drop. And even better, there's white ones for today's look to go with the white shoes. So I really care about that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I've got a busy but good day ahead. And then I'm gonna squeeze a long walk in and then it's bike day tomorrow. But um, I think tomorrow is when I'll get out, apart from the shoot where we'll obviously run loads um, to get out and give you a quick recap of how the shoes actually feel. So I shall see you later. I am back from my run. I am very sweaty. I don't think you can really quite see how red I am because it's a lot colder outside than I thought. Um, but I'm really happy with that. I had to do on my plan, I think it was like a 10 minute warm up and then 70 minutes like hard and Obviously I ignored that because I kind of, I've been really good at sticking to my program, but less good at sticking to the weekend runs because I like to do longer and I don't like to go hard. But the whole run ended up being, well, I'll have a look at my map, my run app. The whole run ended up being 11 and a half miles and I averaged 7.38 minute mile pace, which I'm pretty happy with that for like a training run that I chatted all the way around on. Um, it did actually feel quite speedy for me, obviously not like race pace, but training pace. And yeah, 
pretty well. I mean, I'd be really happy with that pace to be fair, race pace in a half Ironman. Um, but anyway, I'm just rambling. I really need to get ready now for the shoot, so I'll see you then. Excuse the mess, but this is the socks and trainers and shorts. I'm very happy with this. I've obviously got a jumper on, but still. Um, so now I'm just making myself a coffee. I'm running late, as you might expect. Classic me. Um, yeah. And I get to run up and down all day. Sorry. <laughs> Ugh, I'm just so unorganised. Why am I so unorganised? Right, I'll see you at the shoot. <laughs> Behind the scenes with Max Wilcox. Is it Wilco or Wilcox? It's remarkable that we've been shooting together for over 12 months <laughs> and you still think that my Instagram name is my real name. Is it journal? Or <laughs> <laughs> People actually do think it is. <laughs> it's not Wilcox. <laughs> no she thought my name was Wilcox. It's Wilcox. I just happened to, yeah, against the wall, go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's Wilcox. 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 Yeah, it's <laughs> okay, so I have done the Under Armour shoot. I will just share some of the pictures up here. Um, we had a lovely sunny day, so it was very nice. And I've since ran in the trainers, the Velocity Flows, so I thought I'd give you my honest review. Um, full disclosure, I am an Under Armour sponsored athlete slash ambassador. However, I am not paid to do videos like this. I do not have to put anything on YouTube and give you my full trainer review or whatever, um, I'm just doing that because these are going to be what I choose to race my upcoming, fingers crossed that goes ahead, 7.3 in. Um, and I thought I'd talk you through the other trainers and what I use them for and what I'll be using these ones for. Um, first of all, the like key points of the trainer is basically how light they are compared to all the other Under Armour trainers. Um, I wish I could tell you off the top of my head the actual light, the grams and, and in comparison to the others, but I can't. Um, I'll just tell you what I think of them. They are so light, which is why they are going to be like my faster race trainers. Um, key point different to these ones, the Velocity Flow compared to like the Machinas or whatever, is they don't have the rubber outsole, so they're a lot lighter and they've got the warp knit kind of like mesh material on the top, which again, makes them really lighter, really light. Um, very responsive, got really good traction. Um, and yeah, they just feel fast. They're definitely like a speedy rear shoe for me. Um, they are also, with this shoe, there is a challenge. Oh, so they connect to map my run, um, which I'll show you here. So it gives you like real time coaching as you are running. Me personally, I actually turn that off because I find it quite annoying when it's telling me to like up my cadence or whatever. Like I appreciate that makes you a better runner, uh, but I don't have it turned on, but I like to look at the data afterwards. Um, so I think I said before with the machinas, it's good to see like your foot position, your foot strike, everything like that. And it is interesting to see cadence and perhaps that is where I will improve as my kind of like faster runs start coming into my program as I lead up to the 7.3. So, I will keep you posted on that, um, but these are definitely my favourites. Though, if I'm totally honest, I will probably not do my longer or not do all of my long runs in these. Um, I would opt for the comfort of one of these two shoes. So I showed you this one earlier. This is the Machina. Um, I alternate between the Machina and the Infinites. This is actually a brand new pair. I've not worn yet. New colourway. Um, which are my two longer distance shoes um, from Under Armour. Um, obviously, I'm still going to be using the flow velocity for the for the 7.3, which is 13 miles, which I would consider a long run, um, but will only be training in them in my like shorter sessions. So not every single one. And quite often in training, I will go beyond the distance when it comes to running. I'm doing the Ultrex Dust Till Dawn challenge soon and potentially some other longer runs. So I'll probably opt for the Machinas or the Infinites for those. Um, so yeah, all in all, very happy with this shoe. It's also quite exciting and it's starting to feel like my race is real now that I've kind of like decided on these. I'm really happy with how my running Touchwood is going at the minute. Um, so I'm pretty excited to, to actually test these out on a proper race and see 
see where my run is, running is at after a year of like a few ultras and fairly decent mileage, one little niggle, but I feel like I've recovered quite well from that with my following my cadence and cake program quite strictly. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to enter the Under Armour Flow Challenge with Map My Run. Um, you can win a holiday, I believe, somewhere crazy, and it's literally like 30 miles you have to rack up through April, which I should be through March to April, which I personally should be well on track for that. So fingers crossed, because I am in desperate need of a holiday. Um, I don't even know if I mentioned that, that challenge in this earlier, but enter that. Um, let me know if you try any of the trainers mentioned. Um, let me know how you get on or drop me a comment and tell me what your favourite trainers are, especially for 7.3 distance, because this is total new territory for me. I've only ever done full. So I've never really focused on having a fast half marathon or certainly one off the bike. So any tips, advice, welcome, how it's different to a full. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.